Hey guys, and welcome to a new series, kind of a return of an old favorite, The Elder Scrolls Online. Now, whenever I first started playing ESO, at least more regularly, I started off with the Morrowind DLC and played through that on my channel, and then continued to play each new chapter as they came out. Well, during Greymoor, I was having some issues with recording ESO, and really I think was just pretty burnt out of recording stuff in general, and I fell off of ESO. And now three years have passed. Sure, in the meantime, I've gotten on for a little bit, but I was always really intimidated about coming back because, like, you know, I already have my Dragon Knight that's all, like, decked out and, you know, have the nice house and everything, and then I just don't really remember how to play, so it's intimidating coming back to a fully leveled character. And in the meantime, like, it looks like some good expansions came out. Like, I was really excited for Blackwood and Necrom and fully intended to record them. I just wasn't doing YouTube very much at the time. So that brings us to something that I've thought about doing for a while and is going to be a massive undertaking. Today, we are beginning our playthrough of The Elder Scrolls Online in order. And what I mean by that is we're going to start off with the base game, do some Ebonheart Pact things, because y'all know, of course, I'm still going to be a Dark Elf. And of course the main quest, and then we're going to go into the DLC, not just the major chapters, but the little ones in between. Now this does mean we won't really have room for side quests, and even doing the Ebonheart Pact is a little bit questionable. We're going to be focusing on the main quest and just doing the Ebonheart Pact storylines as we can or as we need to, to progress in the main quest. This first part of the series, this first little season, it's gonna be a little confusing, but at least for me to figure out what content I need to do, and also because I'm going to have to relearn this game. So before we were playing as my lovely Dragon Knight Ozithus, who still is my canonical vestige. However, I have another character that I've been working on that I think will also be canon. And uh, of course with Necrom, a new class came out. A class kind of over, you know, my favorite Daedric Prince that I tend to base, you know, my Dragonborns kind of, uh, intertwined with him. My whole Tamriel's Tales podcast is all Hermaeus Mora themed. Necrom released a lot of beautiful Hermaeus Mora merch that I had to get. I'm gonna be playing an Arcanist. We're gonna be trying that out. I really hope I like it because like I said, this is a big commitment. I haven't played through all of ESO. Like I've pretty much dabbled in every little bit of it and then I've played, you know, the stuff you've seen me play through and then a little bit more. But now I just feel like I'm rambling. Ah, I've been wanting to try this for so long. And you know, we're gonna be a dark elf. That's just how it is on this channel most of the time. But I'm actually going to be mixing it up because usually I play as elf boys. Today we have a lady. I know, really mixing it up here. But this is actually a character that I've had for a while and uh, I've changed her up a bit and I actually don't have a last name. Should I just make it connected to Aza? And thus all my other elf boys, yeah. Is she already in a different way? Yeah, I'm still working on it. I don't know if I'm gonna talk about it yet. But we have our Vela Cedrin. I think that's what we'll go with. Look at that armor, by the way. It has eyes on it, that's so good. So I'm just gonna go ahead and make her real quick and we'll go from there. Okay, I think we're gonna go with this for our Vela. I think I like that a lot. Of course, I may change her face and body markings later, but I think that looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and create. And I think if we play through the tutorial, I don't know if it's the same with Arcanist, but I think we should be able to choose where we start. I hope. So we're going to go ahead and do the tutorial because I feel like I could probably use that anyway. I'm going to be so rusty. Yeah, I think this is the aisle that at the end you get to go through whatever portal you want so we can start in the right spot. Okay. I forgot add-ons or a thing. Hi. Yeah, out of date add-ons, you don't say. <laughs> They're very well out of date. And hey, this is almost a great time to start this because uh, tomorrow's the first day of March. I know this is still February, but go ahead and claim that. I may still be recording. I'm pretty sure it resets at like six or seven my time. So I may still be recording for the daily reset, but I know I've done this before, but I don't remember it. We'll go ahead and do it together because this is the complete new experience all the way through the game. Technically, no side quests probably. Hello. There you are, on your feet. I know magical translocation can really upset the stomach. Just take a moment and get your bearings all right. Uh, yeah, where am I? The Isle of Balfiera, home of Clan Berini. 
I apologize for the cramped accommodations. We pride ourselves on courtesy, but circumstances here have taken a turn for the bazaar. I needed to make sure you weren't a danger to yourself or others. Can you let me out? You might not be so eager to escape once you hear what's going on. You arrive via a portal, along with a deatric beast called Shiazel. Great. It seized control of our golems and unleashed them on the island. If I free you, will you help me stop Shiazel? You brought me here. That's kind of <laughs> kind of rude, but sure, set me free and I'll help. Wise choice. Just give me a moment. There. That should unlock the door. When I know it's... Ready, follow me. Sorry. I know it's telling us about our champion points and whatnot, but I'm not going to get into that right now because I have no idea how the Arcanist plays. We will do that later, but I do have some. All right, let's go ahead, open that up. Follow Norenwi. I'm just going to pretend like I pronounced that right. And we're talking again. There you are. <laughs> Free is a spring cricket. I hope you intend to keep your word. We'll need each other out there. Of that, I'm certain. The name's Norianwe, by the I way. I totally got that right. <laughs> Please to make your acquaintance. Where are we headed? We're bound for a place called the Keyrite's Gallery. But first, I need to know you can defend yourself. Hurtling through the orbis and falling flat on your ear left you a bit scattered. Find a weapon, and we'll work out the cobwebs. Fair. Sure, but I have some questions. Of course. I can't promise total transparency, but I'll be as forthcoming as I can. Well, yeah, I guess what is the key rights gallery? I don't want to ask too many questions because I don't want to be stuck in the tutorial forever, but. The key rights gallery is an ancient substructure of Balfiera Island built long before my clan arrived. Ah, why is it called that? On account of all the doors, the gallery is full of ancient gates, each with some arcane Right, okay, so the portals I was mentioning. Useful, useful. So now we have a big choice of what weapon do we actually want to use? And I have an idea, but I don't know if this is going to be that specific. Ooh, I feel like this is overly sensitive. Hold up. Oh my God, they've added companions and everything and I have not delved into that at all. Okay, that helped a little. Hopefully I didn't do it too much. It feels better. I want her to use maces. I'm on such a mace kick right now. I don't know if that's the best thing to do build-wise, nor if I want to do a great big mace or dual wield. I was kind of thinking dual wield, so I might just go ahead and go with daggers. Larger weapons like staves that and is... axes will take both hands to use. Yeah, I get how it works. I get how it works. I think we will go into dual wield. I didn't figure it'd be as specific to let us try or change our weapon type. It's hard to talk while you're talking, lady. You're really tutorialing me. I know generally how to play games, so I'm just gonna keep going. I'm not completely new to this, just uh, out of practice. But I assume you're wanting me to whack this. Prepare yourself. Or wait and whack it. Yep, yep, I know how to whack. See that, pretty cool. There we go, level two, easy game. <laughs> and our first major decision, because I don't know if I wanna be a magic or a stamina build. I, if I remember correctly, if I want to go more into my class skills, at least from what I imagine Arcanus would be, Magicka would probably be better. I can reset this later if I need to. We're gonna go Magicka because I know there's like, as if I need to tell y'all, I'm sure you probably already know, but there's like class skills and then there's weapon skills. And weapon skills usually are more stamina, but we want to go pretty full into Arcanus. Now I am never the sort of person that makes builds. I am just gonna go with what's fun. If I want to use a build, I'll get on Oz with this because I am still planning on playing as him. I forgot to mention this. If I do guild events again, which if you've stayed in the guild for the past few years while I haven't been playing, like you're cool. Thank you. Uh, Cause I did notice there were still people in the guild and I was like, oh my God. I don't know if we're gonna be doing guild events again, but maybe. And if I do, I have my tank that actually has a build. On this character, we're just gonna do what's fun and what allows us to survive while recording. Because, oh my god, recording as a tank was a mistake. <laughs> Everything took forever. Cost determined by highest max resource. Oh. Did they change how that worked for all the classes or just Arcanist? Because that was always something, I know it bothered Ryder a lot, but he hated that he had to choose because then you're kind of limited, if that makes sense. I'm gonna assume it's just some things because I'm noticing this one is stamina. So it may just be an Arcanist thing, I don't know. Anyway, 
This one, we craft some runes and throw them at an enemy. And generate crux, which I think is like a, a specific class resource for Arcanist. We're going into this very blind. Okay, so I guess this is like the tanky one because this gets a big shield, I'm assuming. And these heal. Okay, so I guess it's just damage tanking and healing. We are gonna go damage because I'm gonna be playing alone. I'd like to be a little like able to survive. So we may go into these two a little bit, but for now, let's go rune plates. And we now have an ability, allegedly. Do I need to drag it there? No, it's already there. Okay. Like I said, rusty. With moves like that, the Daedra doesn't stand a chance. Yes, I'd say we're ready to set out. Where are we headed now? To reach the Keyride's gallery. We have to make it out of this ruin and across a wide field full of the golems I mentioned. With any luck, we'll be able to slip past them. But I'm not all that lucky, so I'm sorry in advance. Great. Well, <laughs> we'll try to avoid them, but I do want to try my new moves. All right, we'll head there next. What can we expect to encounter in the gallery? Well, it begins with a door, the first of many. The only way to access the gallery is through a mysterious gateway. Once we pass through that initial door, we'll step into a huge vault. This is the part that worries me most. Why so? I believe Shiazel, the Daedric creature that's causing yeah. all this mischief, may have nested itself in there. Kind of, kind of thought that might be the case. Well, I also forgot to mention that these episodes are probably going to be longer than my regular videos. I'm hoping I can keep them that way. Sometimes my editing software hates, well, always it hates longer recordings, but... Oh, we're supposed to sneak, to sneak past it. Oh, it's that way. <laughs> I was just blathering and was just going to run straight into it. She ran into that bear trap. We're off to a great start. But yeah, we're never going to get anywhere. <laughs> I don't want this series to be a million episodes long, so I'm gonna try to aim for them to at least be an hour. Try. Almost there. Oh, Let's okay. Hurry. Sprinting, sprinting. Yes, it is, it is teaching me how to do things. I don't think I have to keep just sneaking. Right, okay, let's try to avoid most things, but I would like to fight a little. I know I can change camera perspectives. That is nice. I think we'll probably stay in third person. Oh, that's a saber cat. You don't see anything, cat. But yeah, I'm hoping you look like an enemy. I'm just gonna pretend like you're not moving now. Like you probably don't see me, hopefully. That saber cat is pretending to be a statue. Come on, man. But yeah, this game is massive, so. We can test our abilities on the big guy. That's here. fine. Let's head I made it through. Oh, it's another player. I was like, what is that? <laughs> is it going to attack me? This is an MMO. Wow. Jeffa's bones. The surge of magicka created by the portals you came through. Ugh, it must have cracked this sky shard. Without a functioning sky shard, this gate remains locked and there's no way for us to proceed. Damn. Is there any way to fix it? Unless you have a set of enchanting tools and a working knowledge of meteoric empowerment theory. No, ah. there's nothing for it. We need to find a replacement. Where we can Where can we find a replacement? I saw one in a vault just south of here a few days ago, but it was flanked by one of the island's more powerful golems. Great. Normally, I'd say we should search for another option, but given the circumstances, I think we have to risk it. All right, well, better not waste any time. So like I said, I am working on a story for Arvella, so I would love to get into All that right. more in this series. The However, the sky shot is there. <laughs> okay, I get you, lady, I get you. Oh, that was an enemy. Hi. We can use our new move, except I need to interrupt you and I didn't... I didn't even get to really see it because I was distracted. But I do have a little room next to me, so that's cool. Don't know how that all works yet, but we will figure it out. But yeah, um, I find that writing stories for MMO characters is particularly difficult because you don't really want them to do everything. <laughs> and they're generally very powerful, if that makes sense. So I need to figure out what Ozithus does, what Arvella does, and what somebody else does. <laughs> and what exactly I want her story to be like beforehand. Obviously she's a Hermaeus Mora worshipper, but... Oh, the little rune is so cute. I'm just gonna keep launching those at you. I don't know if I'm supposed to just spam that, but it's my only move right now, so... Besides just hitting you. Oop, okay. We did it. Let's pick that up. Got all sorts of runes around me. I'm pretty sure that is just kind of a, the resource for our nest. They mixed it up a little with it. Incredible. 
Yes, oh, yes, I did absorb it. <laughs> I'm very cool. Should this be a class that I'm coming back to after not playing for a few years? Not sure, but hey, I wanted to try it. So here we are. It's gonna take us a long time, very long time to get to Necrom, so I might as well. Something else I wanted to mention is that I'm probably like, I'm not gonna do Gold Road whenever it comes out, but if I feel like it, I might do the next expansion. Just because, you know, it's good to upload the thing that's somewhat relevant, but we'll still keep the series going on the side. I'm not sure. It depends. I just don't want to do Gold Road because from what I've heard, it is uh, pretty connected to Necrom instead of its own little standalone thing. At least kinda. I think Necrom sets up for it. Okay, let's activate that. Ooh. She is interrupting herself. Oh no. It wants me to talk to her, but she is not in here. Okay, there she is. But yeah, part of the reason I wanted to like get back into ESO is just to know what's going on with that like new day thing and whatnot. Like, but we're gonna have a lot before we get to that point. I'll try to upload this fairly consistently. <laughs> I'm afraid we've reached the really scary bit. Great. The Daedric creature responsible for all these portals waits just beyond that gate. If you have any other preparations to make, make them now. I think I'm pretty good. I have two moves. Again, my I'm stab and my runes. But I'd encourage you to remember what we practiced before. Keep I I got this. It's fine. It's just a tutorial, boss. We can handle ourselves. Hello. Just gonna throw a bunch of runes at you until I can't. <laughs> She's healing me anyway, so we are good. Oop. Almost didn't dodge that fast enough. See, I like not using stamina as my resource too, just because stamina is consumed by things like interrupting and whatnot. So it's nice to have just Magicka be separate so that you don't have to miss an interrupt. Oh, those are healing her. No, don't do it. I only just noticed that. Dang, well. <laughs> okay, die. there we go. All right, and we got some stuff. Speaking of which, you did it. Did I have more the stuff in my inventory? No. Follow me. That. And I should probably use this. We'll use that once we get out. <laughs> Not that I'm in a particular rush to level or anything, but it'd be nice to have some more moves. <laughs> Ooh, I hold dramatic. Look at the central column. I had no idea it was concealing something like this. Let's get a closer look. Yeah, what could go wrong? Now, something about Arvella that I will say, it's like I said, she's still being developed. As a Hermaeus Moro worshiper, she is naturally very curious and is probably too interested in artifacts of power, power in general, you know, forbidden knowledge. But that's like the motivation for her travels. She's talking, but she's way, way back there. I left her behind. Sorry, sorry. Okay, so we are able to choose where we want to go. I'm also noticing I don't have uh, captions on for you guys, sorry. It also helps me, so... There we go, that should help. Can you believe this? Just look around. With this arcane helix exposed, the chamber is positively crackling with magic. The Keyrite's gallery has come to life, and I finally think I know why. What do you mean? Why did it come to life? Because of you. Ooh. Matters in Tamriel are bleak. War rages in Cyrodiil. Daedric princes conspire. Dragons ride the winds of elsewhere. The Second Era needs a savior. I believe the gallery. Perhaps even the Adamantine Tower itself chose you. Cool. What do you think I should do next? The Keyrite's gallery opened doors to every corner That's of Tamriel. That's a little box of gear, Places okay. I suspect that desperately need a hero's aid. This choice is yours to make, but wherever you choose to go, I'm sure adventure awaits. May the stars protect you. Yep. Okay, so we are so just going adventure. to be basic. And we are going to try to find the very, very beginning. And we got some pants and whatnot. Yay! Those are some weird looking pants. But you know what we do have? We do have collections and whatnot. So I could look a little better than this. Like, who wouldn't want to wear a Netch hat? That does, however, mean we killed a Netch, so no. No, thank you. Okay, I made her look like an edgelord. I think that's good. <laughs> We're an edgelord now, yay. I really need to turn off turn off my add-ons, oops. I'm sorry. Oh no, what have I done? Oh, those are some very broken add-ons. I, I can't hit escape. Now I just, now it just doesn't look like I have my contacts in. Okay, cool. Ah, uh, help, help. <laughs> Nothing's working. Well, uh, I hope this doesn't mess that up. I need to restart. 
And immediately turn off my add-ons. Jeez. I was meaning to. I just didn't. I'm sorry, game. I know they're three years old. Oh, she looks like she's scheming. I love it. But yes, we need to go through Bleak Rock Isle. Where the Ebonheart Pact beginning? It appears this one leads to Bleak Rock, a frigid Nord holding north of Eastmarch. For this gate to choose such a remote location, something important must be taking place there. The gallery is beckoning you to face it. Ready to brave the cold? Guess so. Let's go and start the Ebonheart Pact storyline. Ooh, we get a cutscene. That's really loud. Ouch. Was that it? It ended so abruptly. I was just adjusting my headphones. I guess that was it. <laughs> All right, but hey, we leveled. <laughs> Another point in Magicka. We will go ahead and get a heal, I think, just cause that'll be nice. Probably won't keep it on two, but it's good enough for now. And I guess we can get our weapon ability. I just don't know. I also technically need to level this up just so I can get these passive abilities over time. I don't think it used to give that to you for free, did it? Maybe it did. I don't remember. We'll just take that, because why not? But okay, here we are. I'm short on good help, and I could use someone capable. Someone like you. What's wrong? We sighted a ship offshore. I've sent my troops to investigate. If it's the vanguard of an invasion, well... We'll need to evacuate. Where are the villagers? You'll find the people of Bleak Rock all across the island. Darj, the hunter, went to Sky Shroud Barrow. Iman's out at Orkis Hollow with his sister, Rolanda. Sane, my sergeant, is out at Hosen's Folly. I'll go find them. Sure. Like I said, like, I'm pretty sure... Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure a lot of the Ebonheart Pact storylines want you to finish, like, entire zones. And if I have to finish like the whole thing, I feel like that would be a lot to do it. But if it does have more of a linear storyline that we could follow, we could do that. I'm probably just going to be winging a lot, <laughs> like I said in this first season, but the main focus is the main quest, which I'm pretty sure I'm part of, I'm gonna have to do a zone for anyways, at least a good part of it. I don't remember how this game works. That's why we're doing the series. <laughs> I know I was actually playing as Teldrin whenever I wasn't recording to kind of get the full experience in order. But that was only a little bit before I stopped playing a few years ago, so I didn't get super far. I think I did get a good bit of the base zones done. Okay, allegedly something should be here. You're running, but you're a person. I'm going to assume, I feel like this is one of the names she said. I'm gonna assume we need to do these quests to progress. My husband, Gelund, went fishing yesterday morning. He never came home. I went looking for him this morning with my dog. And now my dog has wandered off. Well, you're not having very good luck today. No, I'm not. The last place I saw Rexus was near our mill, just north of here. Take this whistle. Use it when you get over there. I'll wait here in case he comes home. Well, I'll find your dog and your husband if I can. You know, not as important, but if I see him. <laughs> All right, so around here, let's use the whistle. Pet the dog where? Oh, <gasps> yes. Oh my God, good boy. Rexus bounces back and forth under your hand. He looks like he wants you to follow. Okay, we will follow the dog. See where he's leading us? That reminds me, I, I should have a pet out and we need to choose our mount that we're gonna use. I forgot we could just do that straight away, but at least I'm pretty sure you can use a mount immediately, unlike World of Warcraft. Probably. You are really taking us on a journey, Rexus. <laughs> Gonna take us into the ocean where we- Oh, hi. Hey! Looks like you're doing good. Thank God. My boat sank off the coast in a storm. It was unnatural. I saw colors I've never seen before. I drifted for hours on a plank. I thought I was dead. You're gonna be fine, Galand. Just give me a second, and I'll head back home. I'll you don't need any Rexus help? when I get tired. Palmyra will be worried sick. Thank you. All right, well, <laughs> I think that was part of what we needed to do. I'm pretty sure we just need to do the quest on the island. That seems familiar. Oh, I forgot to use our experience scroll. I don't know if I should, but I feel like you get a fair amount of these. 
as like daily rewards and whatnot. So we'll go ahead. Why not? Why not? I probably should have done that earlier, but oh well. Daily endeavor. I don't, I don't even know what that is. What's an endeavor? Okay, I leveled because I came over here. All right. Well, that person has the quest target above their head, but the other thing didn't. I don't know why it was hiding from me. Completed explore. Oh, did we already do it? I guess. Ooh, yay, okay. New Herald of the Tome ability. Harness pure knowledge into a beam of energy that scars the world in front of you. Channel the beam up to four seconds. Casting Fate Carver consumes all crux and increases damage done by 33% per crux spent. So I build up the rune thing from this, I guess, and then use that. Okay. Oh, I'm already moving stuff back. I just want to use the new Arcanist stuff, you know? Like I said, I'm not doing a build right now. Maybe I will later. I'm just taking stuff. Hey. Mind yourself. There are bandits about. Can I help? That's refreshing. Most days it's just Rana and me against the world. We have some work to do. Okay. That cursed ship is the least of our worries. Bandits are plundering the mine, looking for artifacts. Why are they here? They're alert, looking for something. Had to kill the one behind me before he warned the others. How can I help? How are you at subterfuge? I'll stay here and keep an eye on these bandits. Don't make me sneak. You take the uniform from our friend. Okay. Here. If I'm Get just disguised, see what's going on. I'll do it. But I do not want to sneak. Here. Not Just looking forward to the sneaky quest lines. Not if I'm not a Nightblade, anyway. Hello, sir. I'm taking your clothes now. <laughs> Put that on. Beautiful. No one will ever know. Yeah, look at them. Stupid. Never will suspect a thing, except that guy would. So we need to avoid him, actually. But I did not mean to roll. <laughs> Can you move? I want to go in this building. Can I go around the side? Stop rolling. I think my keyboard's having issues. <laughs> I'm just holding it. Hello, fellas. Don't mind me. Dang it, I think he is blocking the only entrance, isn't he? Okay, well, he's that way now. So just sprint in here. Okay. The Frost Edge Pillagers are hereby engaged to find relics of power. Interesting. Arvel is already into it. In Hazen's folly and bring them to General Syrian. Payment to be dependent on the nature of what's been found. Down payment in gold has been offered and accepted. Be sure to warn your scouts. The cultists use an old Norm tomb as their worship space. Those hairy uh, love to set traps in their burial mounds. Okay. Ooh, ooh. You didn't see anything. I, I got excited because there is a sky shard over there. Ignore me. There's a guy near it too. Get out of here. No one will ever see this. I do know these are important because they give you skill points if you get enough of them. There we go. Sounds like there's some fighting going on in here. That's probably fine. Yeah, that guy just didn't want to sneak, I guess. Cracked rune ward. Examine. Oh, I accidentally clicked through it, I think. Keep this rune stone out of the mine. If you bring it near the unspeakable sigil, the portal closes. Then we'll be cut off from the relics. Okay, well. That could be useful then. I think I might like to bring that in the mines myself. And then what do we have here? Another note or a book. Dark administrations. The old tome is the, or tomb, is the perfect place to practice our craft. No one will venture down here past the mine. The offerings are complete. The Lady of Nightmares has opened the way. We've been given our own small pocket of this sacred realm. Construction begins tonight to create a suitable temper and temple in her honor. Once the temple is complete, we expect the realm will expand soon. The unspeakable sigil's consecration went just as we had hoped. My son will live forever at her side. Scamps, the smallest of her children, are appearing in the temple and deep in the mine. This can only be a sign of her love and favor. However, I had expected our pocket of oblivion to be twice the size it is now. Is the lady displeased with us? Some of us have hatched a plan to sacrifice more of the faithful. Surely that will capture her attention and earn our just reward. Okay, well. Definitely something sinister happening here. So let's just bring this rune in the mine, shall we? Soil it for everyone. Okay, that sentry doesn't like that guy. I wish you would not. <laughs> I don't want to deal with this. Hopefully they won't notice me if I just walk past. Why is no one in a disguise? Come on. It clearly said to do that. Get lost. Uh. The boss wants me to check on the relics we already Quick, found. Come inside. We've almost made it past the scamps. I heard them say the portal is just beyond. Thanks. Oh. I'm gonna pretend like that wasn't a problem. <laughs> Who are you? Please don't hurt me. Guards! Intruder! 
No, no, we're we're friends. Oh, great, great work, sir. <laughs> well, at least he didn't get too far. Oh, and we're still we're still bros. Okay. Look, isn't it nice to be disguised? Those fools outside never stood a chance. I'm speed running over here, apparently. Which I guess I could actually sprint. Yay. Yeah, this would be a lot of fighting. <laughs> Hopefully we don't get caught over here. I think there's one. Yep, right there. We're gonna stay out of your range. <laughs> Go away. Yeah, get get out of here. Ooh, sprint. You don't see anything. What are you doing? Snooping over here. All these dead bulwarks. Hmm. Surely it has nothing to do with the fire traps that I'm definitely avoiding. Okay, they're up here. <laughs> uh... Okay, they do go off. Whoop! That was close. Kinda. Can I just jump it? I can just jump it. Hey, <laughs> don't have to wait. Use the portal to enter oblivion! Great! Just where I want to go! I'm level three! <laughs> I'm totally prepared. Destroy the unspeakable sigil. Ooh, look at this. That is vibey. Now I do need to take some pictures. Now, do I remember how to hide everything? What my keybinds are so that I can take pictures? No. I know I had set one up. <laughs> there we go. Now we can take some screenshots. I have to do it every two seconds. Oh, this is downright spooky over here. That's beautiful. Should I be hurrying in? Because I think there was another player. Maybe, but I don't want to. I want to take pictures. Pretty game. Pretty game. Oh, scamp. Hi. Sorry. Didn't notice you there. Okay, let's build that up and then do our beam. Oh! Whoa, it just keeps going. Okay, that was cool. I like I like the theme. I really like the theme. Okay. We're the champion of Cyrodiil now. I just poked that. That's probably fine. Mm, no one saw a thing. No one saw a thing. I'm out of here. And I believe we're still in our disguise. Yes, okay. So, what did you find out? The bandits were contracted by the Daggerfall Covenant to steal a Daedric artifact. A Covenant contract? I smell a distraction. That ship we spotted might be the start of an invasion. We've got to get back to the village. Yeah, probably. And a new dagger. Or cool. loving Covenant cowards. What now, Sena? You found the evidence. The Covenant sent these bandits and that means trouble. I'll head back and warn Captain Rana. You'll need to find as many missing people as possible. I'll find as many as I can. Whoa, okay. Dramatic much. Oh, what? We're so close to a level up. I thought we got it. <laughs> but I'm still disguised, right? Probably. They seem friendly. I don't know if the way shrine is closer. We'll just go ahead and go over there. I think that's good. Though that is an optional step over there. Maybe I should do that first just so we actually do it. Okay, I should be able to take off this disguise now, right? Sorry, I'm not used to this game again. Whoops, unequipped. Get our cool edgy armor back out. <laughs> oh, hi. I guess we're friends now. Pretty much holding hands, what's up? We have found the rat woman. Why is there a rat woman? Can I help you with something, rat woman? I, I can understand you. Oh my, I'm not a skeever. Are you supposed to be? No, no. Follow me. I'll show you. Uh, sure. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Now, I know I could be picking up, like, I saw a little room back there. I know we could be picking up crafting materials, but I don't think I'm gonna really mess with that on this character. I'm not sure. A wand. Okay. Yeah, I should totally touch that. Carve Daedric symbol on its face. Uh-huh. Oh, thank kind. You have it. Can you explain what's going on? My friends and I were out hunting in the woods when a mad mage ran up and began throwing spells at us. I think he only nicked me. He dropped that wand in the snow as he left. What does the wand do? Make you a skeever? I don't know how spells work. I tried picking up the wand, but it wouldn't let me. I think it does the spell. Or undoes it. Look, my friends are Falta, Brend, and Runsenwild. They're skeevers now. Please find them and use the wand to fix them. Yeah, I'll look for them. What a quest. Save some rats. Well, I guess they're not really rats, but they got turned into rats. Rats is more fun to say than skeever, though skeever is a fun word. Rats is just next level. 
Equivalent to crabs. Oh my god, they're all over the island. Really making us run for it. I guess I should... I think we can use a mount, right? Yeah. What do we want our mount to be? Ooh. The guar is always good. I don't think I have anything that's somewhat her memory. But I do love a good guar. And let's see, do we have any good pets? Oh, I forgot about Goblin, Oz's cat. Oh, we could just have a little Goblin cat. I remember having more pets. I could have sworn I did. Oh, I, I missed the exotic tab. That's what it was. <laughs> oh, we also have our little dragon. I want the little skeletal dragon. I love that one so much. It's one of my favorites that I have. And look how big it is. Like, that's just a good pet. We're going to use that one for now. And I immediately forgot to mount up. Does this actually make us any faster right now? Not sure. I'm gonna need to remember to get on here to uh, level up our speed every day. <laughs> I'm sure it's a little faster. And look how cute it is. Ah, okay, there's the skeever. Do I just, yep, use that? Did that work? Yes. Right, you're a man now. Anytime. <laughs> oh, that was a wolf. Ouch, my butt. Thanks for that one, wolf. Now I am slow. I don't know, I guess let me know if you want me to do like the full Ebonheart thing, if it isn't, like I'm pretty sure it's like this, like it's almost linear, but then it wants you to kind of do the side quest too. Yeah. I don't know, just let me know what you think. Yeah. Here's another skeever. Don't be a rat. I undiagnose I you with rat. You. you know, I need to change my mount button to be what it is in World of Warcraft. I think that would remind me to use it. Okay, we have our auto run and our mount key bound. Oh, I have it in World of Warcraft, so that should help me out a little. Should I be going across the water? No, it made my guar disappear, but here we are. Skyriming our way along. Yeah. Oh, hey, we leveled. There we go. Get some health rings and a racial skill line. Cool, cool. I'm I'm just dumping it all into Magicka for now. I don't know, man. I don't know. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's what is best to do. I don't think you really need to put any into health unless if you're taking a good bit, but we might since we're going to be playing solo. So we can morph this. I know you're supposed to kind of go into every tree and have them all on your skill bar at the same time. However, we're not being optimal here. We're being fun. <laughs> Ooh, you know what? Let's do our first racial. That sounds good. And we'll go ahead and morph that. Ooh, another sky shard up here. And another quest. Hi. I'm just gonna pick that up though. All right. Hey, Rolanda. Come to prove your courage. So did my brother. Now he's gone. Your brother is missing? I'm in this inside this cave somewhere. The frozen man does all sorts of things to people who enter his domain. I can't leave Ayman in there. Since father died and mother left, he's all I have. Who is this frozen man? No one knows. He takes people who enter Orchis Hollow. Now he's taken my brother. Great. I should stop sharpening this blade. You must go inside. I, I just can't. Yeah, sure. I'll sacrifice myself to this frozen man. man. Rory. He went in. When the soldiers dragged him out, he was missing all his bones. Thanks for letting me know. I'll give you until my fire burns out. Then I'm coming in after you. Sure you are. Sure you are. <laughs> That's fine. I'm scared of nothing, apparently. Because I'm a protagonist. They cannot steal my bones. There's just a bear in here. That's not this so bad. Oh, frozen. hi. Is it someone you know? Guess who I am, and I might let him go. Uh... Okay, weird. I vaguely remember this. Okay, he's not actually gonna say that, but yeah, there's there's no traps. No bears. Yeah, see, no bears. Make a lovely squirrel. So inquisitive. Great, awesome, thanks. This campfire has been here for a day or two. The remains in the pit are cold, right? Uh... Mage's rune. How okay. rude! Digging through my things. What manners? Sorry, man. See, it was just so hard to record as Aza because I feel like combat. You know, I was a tank. It just took forever. So I'm hoping doing a damage build will be a little bit better for this. No bears. No bears. No bears. I'm a mastermind. Look up, greedy squirrel. See something shiny? Don't break your neck. See, making me jump for it. Hmm. Okay, I broke my neck. What about it? I guess I should sprint jump. 
Or jump up there first? I don't know. I'm just gonna keep throwing myself at this wall until it works. What if I do jump on this one? That'd probably be smarter. Okay. There. <laughs> Dented helm. There's the sigil of the old Mary Dominion. Astounding. You've accomplished the impossible. Leaping small rocks. I am gonna beat you up. My journal. Well. Leak Rock is as cold as they told us it would be. I can't believe people live here. I'll steal their secrets as quickly as I can. Then I'll return to the warmth of the woods. We have the most of or we have most of the information we need. The queen will be pleased. We'll leave tomorrow. I can't wait to thaw out my toes. I've been unconscious. How long was I out? The last thing I remember was the cave-in. Was it the pact? Did they find us? Everyone else is dead, even Oriole. He fell in battle. I won't leave him to rot. Ever since the cave-in, magic gives me a headache. I can't dig out. There's too much rock. The only thing I eat is roots. What am I going to do? The roots were poisonous. Worse, I think they're halluc hallucinogenic. I'm seeing my dead friends. Aurora, Tarek, even Oriole. What's happened to my mind? Ice day. The squirrels are the problem. They cause the cave-in. They're in league with the shiny stones. I'll get them. Melting day. I found Aurora. The greedy squirrel had her. She turned into a candelabra. The squirrel's gone now, and she's back with me. I missed her. There's so many more to collect. And calling day. Greedy squirrels tried to take my friends. I made them into icicles. Right, okay, so this dude lost it. Great. What have you got, clever squirrel? Do you have a guess? Hi. Digging away, puffy little cheeks. What have you found? You're a spy from the old Mary Dominion. A spy, am I? But why? Oh my, you're a smart one. Whatever will I do with you? I guess who you are. Let Iman go. That's no fun. Join me inside. We'll play a game of shells. Win, I'm telling you. Get Iman, lose. He has a punchable face. Well. And voice. <laughs> Alright, one more game. Ouch. Right? My eyes. They already here were starting to hurt from looking at the screen. Guess wrong. And you're mine, my dear. Mm hmm. Bunch of dancing dudes. We're gonna go with that one. Oh, I talk not. I just want to attack him so bad. Okay, you. Hey, over here. You're just gonna keep doing that no matter what I pick. I feel. Try again. Ooh, so close. Yeah. Oh, wait, you're not dancing. So maybe there is a difference. Well, get back here. Don't maniacally laugh. Don't talk to me. I'm a shrub. That's a mood. Honestly, me every day. Let Iman go. Your soul is missing. Want mine? It's black and gooey. I won your game. Now let Iman go. No. We're having old friends for supper. Drink some roots. Stay with us. You'll be safe here. Safe from what? The stones. The shiny ones. They're pretty until you turn your back. And then, whoosh, skulls implode. Bones shatter. You're talking about a cave -in. This is my safest place. My friends are here. Don't take them. Don't want your friends. I just want Iman. Want, want, want. Greedy squirrels. We wanted to leave here, but then... Shiny stones. I ate them after. They were cold. They hurt my teeth. Eh, uh, great. What about this room? Don't you want it back? It gives me headaches, and it tastes like sawdust. <laughs> Go on, you eat it. He'll die if you don't release him. People don't die. They change shape, like Aurora. She's a candlestick. She's bright as the stars. And Tarak? He's never been happier. If you don't let him go, I'm going to have to hurt you. <laughs> the shiny That's stones did that. what I want to say. The roots, the water, Oriel's three toes. I tried to save him, but his head wouldn't stop leaking. Now he's a milk jug. Far away is a candle and Oriel's a milk jug. That makes you a bear trap, doesn't it? So? So nobody wants to be caught in a bear trap, not even squirrels. That's... That's the first thing you've said that makes any sense. Yep, sure Fine. it is. <laughs> Take Iman. Just leave my friends alone, and don't blame me if the shiny stones get you. Yeah, I'm gonna get out of here. I'm gonna get out of here. <laughs> Can I jump down? This is probably gonna hurt, right? Maybe not if I do it right? Okay. Only hurt a little. Hey, man, you good? What happened? Did... did you see those Covenant soldiers? Covenant soldiers? I saw a group of them exploring the cave. They laughed at me, hanging in the ice. Then, the frozen man got them. Let's get out of here, Iman. You don't have to tell me twice. Yup. Oh, hey, a chest. Ooh, I want it. Roll. They're, they're talking, but... Save me. 
You're lucky I came We can still hear them. Ooh, there we go. And yeah, whatever. We'll just take all of that. Don't use the bow, but that's fine. Turn this quest in. Where did you find him? The frozen man had him. He's all right now. Kind gift. We'll head back to the village right now. Rana's going to flay his full hide. I can't properly repay you, but please take this. It was our mother. Your mother sounds like a lovely person. The owner of Bone Splitter, which is technically a mace. Kind of looks more hammery to me, but I guess that counts as a mace. And it gives us health and whatnot, so we will definitely go ahead and use that. Yeah, that's a hammer, but that's good enough. <laughs> All right, yeah. let's go ahead and get to Rado. What's her name? Was child -sized, I'm not good like with names. Evil baby man. <laughs> Best description of a wood elf. Yeah, Captain Rana. Got it right. Good for me. We'll go ahead and tell her that. I'll prepare the town for evacuation. Find as many people as you can and send them back here. Oh, you know, I think this just lets us skip it, doesn't it? I mean, I did say we would focus on the main quest. I feel a little bit bad because I'm kind of leaving people behind, but let's leave now. Are you sure about this? Anyone we haven't found will be left behind. Mm. Hold, hold on, hold on. Let me look at my quests. Let me look at my quests. I guess we do still have the one skeever. We could at least do that. We already started the quest. We might as well finish it. Oh, that, that bear definitely saw me. That's fine. I want to use my laser blast again. Let's do it. Woo! Oh my god, I actually... That is so good. <laughs> it's so extra. I love that. Okay, is that a skeever? That is a skeever. Let us save this lizard friend from being a rat. There we go. Thank you. All right, we'll turn that in. Then we'll evacuate. Didn't quite remember that's what it wanted us to do, but that definitely seems familiar now. There we go. Here's the rat people. Eating some bread. Kind of rat-like behavior, alive, but... And they're not furry anymore. I'm just glad I could help. I don't know what we'd have done. Living out the rest of our lives as cheese-eating rodents. <laughs> if I ever find that mage, I'm going to show him what it means to be vermin. I bet you will. Hey, we leveled. There we go. And another experience scroll. See, you you get a good good amount of them, so we should probably just use them when we get them. You know, something tells me we're gonna need this reduced cost of sneaks, so we could take that. But also we have passives down here, too. Warp fate when you generate or consume crux, increasing your critical damage and critical healing by 6% for 7 seconds. That's also probably pretty good. We'll go with the new stuff. Like I said, very heavy into Arcanist. We'll get extra skill points through sky shards and whatnot anyway. But I guess we're gonna go ahead and evacuate now. I think we're, we've done enough here, right? Probably fine. Let's leave time. now. Sure I'm sure. You're right. We can't wait any longer. Vivek feels bad, it feels really bad though. <laughs> but hey, we get a chest piece. Complete quest. The covenant is here. They've taken the signal fire and we need to warn the mainland. I need you to carve a path through them and light it. The beacon stands atop the tower just outside town. Where are you going to be? I'm going to rally the villagers and get them ready to go. Find Tilroni when you're done at the tower. She'll hold the way open. She knows where to go. All right, well, I'll do it. Good luck. Violet. We'll be ready to go when you get back. All right, but don't want to forget putting that on. There we go. You could change height, can't you? I don't think I messed with that. Oh well. I feel like I always skip a customization choice every time I make a character. I don't know why. Usually it's the voice, but this yeah. time I remembered that. <laughs> okay, you don't see me. I'm gonna end up getting way too much on me because of this. <laughs> My hubris. Actually, it's working so far, so... And that necromancer has killed everything else, it looks like. So there we go. Didn't even have to fight. Like I said, this series is going to take us forever to catch up. If we even ever can, I got to go with all speed. <laughs> all right, go ahead and light that. And get back down. Hopefully getting back will be as easy as getting here was. Oh, yeah. you just respawned and didn't even notice. Whoops. 
Oh, looks like you're a little dying, ma'am. There were just too many of them. The signal fire is lit, Tarani. What happened? The Covenant is here. I'd guess that. <laughs> they set fire to the village. Narald and I tried to protect the Earth Turner family and the rest of the farmers. Where are they? Denska headed to the bunkhouse. Ira tried to take shelter in my home. Then the soldiers set fires, laughing. Please, you have to get water. Save our people. I came to warn you, but the troops, they caught up to me. Take it easy. How can I help you? You can't. Don't come back for me. Just Jeez. get Ira, Great. Denskar, Littrecht, and Trinhild. I have a healing spell. I didn't see where they went. Rana's at the old tomb. Tell her. Tell her. I forgive her. Guess she didn't want me to try that. Well, I'll just go. <laughs> rip, rip in peace. Let's put out some fires. <laughs> you don't see me. I run too fast. <laughs> All right, let's put that out so we can go in. Woo. Didn't scar. Thank you, lucky stars. I am here. Just squatting there. Come on, man. You could have broken a window. <laughs> I thought I might burn alive. You can make it if you run. Hurry, get to the tomb. I can make it. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I've saved you. And the next one. Is that... I thought that person was eating a heart. It's just a leg. A raw leg still, though. I'm kind of concerned. The soldiers are everywhere. Where's Tilrani? I thought I'd be safe with her. Uh, Tilrani's not here. Hurry, run to the tomb. I bet she's there now. I'll see her there. Thank you. Mm-hmm. She's definitely there. Yep, yep. Litrek? That's a name. And he has certainly gotten a bit lit. <laughs> okay, you, you could easily get through this one, man. I just couldn't help it. I ran. I'm so He's afraid. He's afraid. What? What's your deal? Come on. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> get out of here. Oh, he just doesn't know. He just doesn't know. I'm going to get you with a book! Laser beam to the face! What a delightful class already. I just couldn't help. Okay, you're you're gonna be okay. Let's go. <laughs> I guess I should probably loot you, yes. Tirani told us to run. I thought of the water and all those calm days in the surf. What was I thinking? Well, <laughs> you're not dead, so uh your family is gathering at the tomb. Quick, run. Yes, my family. I should go to them. Here I go. All right. Glad you don't <laughs> need an escort or anything. Ooh. Let's get to the captain. Oh, no, I didn't want to do that. Oops, hi. <laughs> Welcome back. The villagers you rallied are ready to move. And we've done everything we can. I just wish we could have done more. Well then, are you ready to get off this rock? So I am. <laughs> I am going to lead the way through the tomb. The locals call it last rest. Darge and Sage are going to bring up the rear. We'll make sure everyone keeps moving. Are you sure we can make our way through? Try being more willing. I've studied a map of the tomb's layout, but I never dared to enter. This place is old. The original inhabitants of Bleak Rock rest inside. And not quietly. Great. What are we waiting for then? Sounds great. <laughs> okay, now we'll do the sneak thing. Because that probably will be useful. Two switches will shut these traps off. We need to hit them at the same time. Get the one on the far wall. I'll hit mine when you do. Might have to get the far wall. Kind of rude. Don't make me time things. <laughs> How cruel. How cruel indeed. Ooh. Ouch. I don't know what I expected to happen there. We're just gonna brute force it. All right. Thanks a lot for that one, Captain. <laughs> Really appreciated it. Smug asshole. Look at her strutting. So many dead because of me. I could have been too, and you didn't care. To live with myself after this. Uh, the villagers need you to lead them to safety. They need a leader, but they're stuck with me. Where do we go from here? I need you to unlock a door deeper inside the tomb. That door will have stones with flower symbols upon it. Head through the door behind me. I'll see you soon. All right. Oh, we got a few skeletons in here, it looks like. I just- I just love blasting them. I know I probably don't need to do that every time. 
but it's really funny. That's my favorite move in the game. <laughs> and it's one of my only moves right now. Have I used my other three? No. Why should I? I have a zappy book. We're almost out. I'll unlock the door at the bottom of the stairs. In the next room, there's another switch I'll need you to trigger. Does it involve me getting impaled? Because I'd rather not, if that's the case. I feel like you could take one for the team. Kinda rude. Well, there's at least a bunch of skeletons, but that's okay. Blasting him. <laughs> I don't think I'm ever gonna get over that. I'll meet you on the other side of that door. Yep. Just ignore the skeletons. You don't see me, you don't see me, you don't see me. It works. It, whenever I tell them, it works. The cove should be just beyond this door. I'll go on ahead. Wait for the rest of them here. All right. Because I guess I gotta do it all here. <laughs> I guess she is kind of leading them. I'll just guard the flanks. That's fine. Is that everybody? Kind of seems like it. Yeah, probably. Oh, nice little boat we have here. Our shellback friend here will get us to safety. He's a hero of the pact. And for what I've promised to pay him, he'd better be. Where are we headed? I fear the Covenant would intercept us if we went straight for Darwin's Watch. So we're going to make for Dalmora, a small town down the coast. Are you ready to go? Let's get out of here. All right, going to the mainland. Which I'm excited because we haven't been here really on the channel except to pass through. That and I just started my tribunal series in Morrowind, of course, so I guess that technically counts too. Mainland Morrowind. We're here. The villagers are safe for the moment, but the Covenant's still coming. We've got to get word to Darwin's watch. I'm ready, Rana. What what do we do now? I can't we're talk spent. today. Can't if read. we act quickly, we might be able to alert Darwin's watch before the Covenant ships arrive. You ready? Guess so. Go to the watchtower, just past the village of Dalmora. Tell the soldiers there to light the signal fires along the coast. The fires will warn Darwin's watch that war is upon them. Where are you headed? I'm going to rally folks here and in Dalmora. Get the battle ready mustered. Send the non-combatants to safety with Daj. Now hurry. The fate of Darwin's watch depends on you. I'm on my Get way. To the watchtower as soon as you can. I, I will. Don't worry. However, I do have to level. And also, I think I was probably recording for too long of a time. Uh, like I said, we're not going to really mess with crafting, I don't think. Maybe. I'm not sure. Yeah. Oh, we can adjust our book now. Damage shield while channeling and immunity to interrupts while the shield is active. Yeah, that, that's what we're doing. I don't want that to be interrupted ever. It's like, oh my God, it's like my eye beam whenever I'm a demon hunter in World of Warcraft. When you, that gets interrupted, it's the worst thing in the world. So we will prevent that here. But I do think that's actually where we're going to go ahead and leave this. Do you let me know what you think about, like, I feel like I should do as much of the Evan Heart Pact as I should, because it's kind of like the point, like vanilla games more than just the main quest. I just know that's going to take quite a while. So let me know what you think. Special thanks to my current Oathman, Mac, and Amanda. I appreciate your support so much. If you'd like to support the channel, maybe consider supporting my coffee, Patreon, or Throne, or you could always become a channel member as well. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave it a like, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.